Okay, so we're back with our friend Einstein. He's in much better spirits, much more healthier, obviously. The last time he had whatever happened, I don't know, his illness. But, so he came in with a flat collar on. So we put a nylon training collar on. The leash and collar has to always be on the dog when he's under our supervision. You see him playing with a toy now, that's fine. The leash and collar is always on. This is how we manage his behavior. Hi, baby. Oh, boy. Good. So right now, he's going to do all his work on a six-foot leash, and then we'll expand that as he goes. So this is like elementary school for a dog. The 12 days here is analogous to elementary school. We're going to teach him not to pull on the leash, walk on our left, and the biggest challenge that the owner's going to have is the house breaking. It's very difficult for us to do here because it's a biological process. We're not here 24 hours a day. So if we thought he had to go out at two o'clock in the morning, there's nobody here to allow that to happen. So that's why it's called house breaking. It's specific to your home. Uh, we're gonna try, I have some ideas. We gotta manage the food input, meaning we gotta be very careful of how much food he gets, when he gets it, and he has to be able to go outside and relieve himself. So it's gonna be hard, uh, and, and he's already kind of past the puppy stage where that should have been taken care of. So I'm just gonna walk him, I'm relaxed. We always have a six foot leash on. I'm gonna ask him to heal, and we will be walked on my left. When he pulls, I snap the leash. Yeah. Good boy. Good, good. He's on my left. He doesn't know left from right. We have to teach him. When I stop, I want him to sit. And this is my energy here. There's no, you have to be able to disconnect emotionally and physically. When I want to praise him, I reach down and praise him. I don't do a lot of staring. My body language is nice and easy. I'm going to step out with my left heel. And he's going to walk. No tension. When there's tension, I snap the leash. Good boy. Good boy. And regardless of the distraction, heel. Good boy. <laughs> Sit. Good, and then if you come next to us, just ask him to sit. So this is pretty much the beginning of our 12-day cycle. And they, so all the dogs are learning is not to pull on the leash. Relaxed, if you see Ashley's demeanor is relaxed. That dog's not pulling, Einstein's not pulling. When I want to move, I step out my left foot and the dog walks with me. Good boy, Einstein. Good boy, good. When I want him to play, I stop. I ask him to SIT. He knows how to spell already, so we're way ahead of the curve. I praise him. Then we're gonna have their young dog, so they need more play time than they do structure. But they always need structure. I'm gonna release. Okay, okay, good, you release. Okay. Now they're free to play. <laughs> so it's a balance of structure, and play, just like children in school. Kindergarten children play more than they do study because they're not mature enough to do study complicated matters. So the dogs are just playing, interacting, socializing, but never pulling on the leash. They have toys they can play with. We're always in charge of them. So that's good training for today. We reinforce this for the next 12 days and we add to it. Good. Okay, Mike Gould here, Mayor of Houndstown, USA, home to the happiest dogs on earth. We got a little friend in here, Einstein, who is going through the process of elementary school. Uh, she's doing really well with her behaviors. One of the most important behaviors is teaching the dog to go place. The only time we give the dog a morsel of food, a morsel of food, whether it's their regular feeding or snacks, is when they go to place. Leash and collar is always on. We're always supervising the dog. We're watching our body language. We're not bending over. We're not having human communication. When she, so she's taught to go in her crate and not to come out. This is a work in progress. This is only going to be as good as how you reinforce this. So I pick up the end of her leash. I say, okay, girl. Okay, boy. Okay, boy. Leash and collar is always on. You can see he's happy. Uh, we're controlling his food input. The housebreaking is going to be difficult. It's not something, this is the reward for good behavior. Love. Pick up the leash. She can't put ten he cannot put tension on this leash. I pick up the leash. I relax my body. 
I asked him to sit. He said, no, I correct you. Good boy. The, the thing to watch is I'm relaxed. There's no tension. There's no yelling. There's no screaming. Uh, I praise good behavior physically. I correct bad behavior by a snap and release. The correction's a snap and release. There's no tension. There's none of this. We're teaching her to walk on our left side, which is called healing. It looks like this. Heal. Good. Good girl. She walks on her left. No pulling. Good girl. Boy. Boy. Oh, Jackie's getting mad at me. Right? You should look at the faces that I've been getting today. Sit. A little correction. Remember, this is early on in her training. Sit. Good girl. Step out with our right leg. The dog stays. If I raise my right hand down, 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 I help her down. So we're teaching heel, sit, stay, come and down. Here's the come command. Einstein, come. Good boy, good boy. Everything's done on a six foot leash. This is elementary school. When you want to go to high school, we do it on a 15 foot leash. And of course, college is off leash. When I'm ready, sit. Good boy. Then I'm going to want him to go into the crate because if we have, we always have to supervise the dog. When we can't supervise, this is an important part of the crate training. We're going to tell him to go place. Einstein, go oh, place, 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 place. He goes to his place. He stays. I get him a treat. This is as simple as it gets. Don't complicate matters. I close the crate. I take a shower. When I'm not supervising, I take the leash off. But other than that, when I am supervising, or I'm going to sit here and have a cup of coffee, I leave the, the leash out. He starts to bark. He's really good. So once we get this in motion, all you got to do is try to reinforce it as carefully as you can. When I open the crate, he can't come out without permission. And if you did it, did he needs to be taught what he wants. Okay, 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 boy. Okay, good boy. Okay is the release command. And we love, love, love. This is a young dog that we have to set boundaries for. And just simple structure. Consistency is the key. We don't let him jump. His four feet are on the ground. We don't let him up on furniture, in beds. Good boy, good boy. Love, love, love. All right, that's great training for today. Okay, so now putting it all together, the leash and collar is always on, so this way we always have control. So now we're just doing a little obedience. This would be done outside, but it's pouring out right now. Dog is walking on her left without pulling. When she comes to, slows down and comes to a stop, he will sit. She, he'll, if she steps out with her right foot, he'll stay. She can drop the leash. If she raises her right hand, he will D-O-W-N. Point sign down. Raise her leg. Down. Eyes on down. All right, a couple of the problems. We're early on in this. This is a four month old dog that we're really putting in kind of advanced obedience in. And he was distracted by a tree food on the floor, which isn't an excuse but it's, that's why this is happening, if the, the food wasn't on the floor. When she gets low, she'll call him. Einstein, come. Good boy. Come, come. She loves him. Then she's going to ask him one more time to go in the crate. She's going to stand Einstein. up. Go, please. Einstein, go, please. That's fine. So, so he's distracted. But does you understand this is a work in progress? This is 12 or 13 days of training. It's not 12 weeks of training. Uh, now let's say uh, she wants him, when, when, and you got to slow this thing down. Number one, we're doing this for the purposes of the video. We're moving fast forward, so with it for demonstration purposes. But this should be throughout the course of a day. This is how we deal with it. Uh, when she's ready, she's going to get low and call him. Give him okay. Einstein, okay. Go he loves him. Love, 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 love. Then she's just going to stand up and point to the bed and tell him to go place. Einstein, go place. And that's it. He stays there. And he stays there no matter what happens, no matter what the 
<laughs> distractions there are, no matter, even if somebody gets low, he has to stay on, and stay on his bed until he's released. And that gives us an opportunity to relax without truck. So if somebody's hiding in the corner, we can catch the burglar. That, but I can open the door. I don't have to worry about leaving doors open. I don't have to worry about anything. I, you can do all these things. And this is what you have to do at home. You have to recreate this. You don't wait till you have a party. The dog, the bottom line, the dog is capable of this. It's his behaviors have been set. They have to be cleaned up and advanced a little bit. And we still have another day or two left, so we're doing really well. Thank you. Okay, so now putting it all together. The leash and collar is always on, so this way we always have control. So now we're just doing a little obedience. This would be done outside, but it's pouring out right now. Dog is walking on her left without pulling. When she comes to, slows down and comes to a stop, he will sit. She, he'll, if she steps out with her right foot, he'll stay. She can drop the leash. If she raises her right hand, he will D-O-W-N. Point side down. Raise her leg. Down. Point side down. All right. A couple of the problems. We're early on in this. This is a four-month-old dog that we're really putting in kind of advanced obedience in. And he was distracted by a treat food on the floor, which isn't an excuse but it's, that's why this is happening, if the food wasn't on the floor. When she gets low, she'll call him. Einstein, come. Good boy. Come, come. She loves him. Then she's going to ask him one more time to go in the crate. She's going to stand Einstein. up. Go, please. Einstein, go, please. That's fine. So, so he's distracted. But does you understand this is a work in progress? This is 12 or 13 days of training. It's not 12 weeks of training. Uh, now let's say uh, she wants him, when, when, and you got to slow this thing down. Number one, we're doing this for the purposes of the video. We're moving fast forward, so with it for demonstration purposes. But this should be throughout the course of a day. This is how we deal with it. Uh, when she's ready, she's going to get low and call him. Give him okay. Einstein, okay. Good she loves boy. him. Love, 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 love. Then she's just going to stand up and point to the bed and tell him to go place. Einstein, go place. Good boy, good place. And that's it. He stays there. And he stays there no matter what happens, no matter what the uh -huh. distractions there are, no matter, even if somebody gets low, he has to stay on, and stay on his bed until he's released. And that gives us an opportunity to relax without truck. So if somebody's hiding in the corner, we can catch the burglar. That, but I can open the door. I don't have to worry about leaving doors open. I don't have to worry about anything. I, you can do all these things, and this is what you have to do at home. You have to recreate this. You don't wait till you have a party. The dog, the bottom line, the dog is capable of this. It's his behaviors have been set. They have to be cleaned up and advanced a little bit. And we still have another day or two left, so we're doing really well. Thank you.